Hey, good evening YouTube, it's me Chris and you are watching Coins in the Wild. Welcome to the channel this evening. Have I got a video for you. So I just did the earlier unboxing video today with box number three. And if you watch that video, you realize that it actually contains two boxes and we only opened the first one. But in the process of doing that, I noticed something about the first coin that I opened uh, from that first unboxing video for box number three. So I want to show you that coin once again. <clears throat> That's this 1998 Philadelphia Mint Kennedy Half Dollar. And I want to give you a good look at this coin. I waited until I could get some overhead light on it. So you can see that there. You'll notice that there's just really light chatter in the fields. The hair on Kennedy's head is really well struck. And then overall, there's really uh, nothing uh, to mention on the surface of the coin. So you can see it there. Nice luster, slight imperfection there on the lower left above the word in. You can see it there, just a little discoloration. And then let's go ahead and look at the reverse of the coin. And I purposely kept the grades hidden in case you didn't watch that earlier video. And so overall, when we look at this coin, some light, light chatter around the shield, but nothing really to, to really notice. I mean, we're really looking at angles and getting light on it in various uh, directions to try and see if we can pick up any kind of real imperfection. Very, very slight. So the coin on my left was graded one grade. The coin on my right, which is this coin here, let's go ahead and take a look at this, was also graded. And I want to show you this. So you'll notice that this coin has you know, a little more chatter in the fields, to be quite honest. And if you look in front of Kennedy's nose, there are some light um, imperfections. It's kind of like a, it's a bag mark or something. It's hard to tell exactly what it is. There you go. You can see some imperfections. But overall, this coin is of a similar quality. I would say it has equally nice luster. Let's take a look at the first uh, coin again. Equally nice luster, and I would say that the fields on the coin in my left hand, the 1998 Philadelphia Mint Kennedy half, are actually a little clearer. And let's look at that again, just because I want to make a point here. It, so would you agree there's more chatter on the 1995 Philadelphia Mint uh, Kennedy half in the fields? I would say so, right? All, all other things being equal, the strike quality, the hair, uh, almost identical. Let's go ahead and look at the reverse of the 1995 Philadelphia Mint Kennedy half. So there we are in the reverse. Um, overall, the only thing that I notice that is slightly better on the 1995 is there's a little less chatter on the shield on the reverse. So we can make the case that these two coins are within a half a grade of each other um, really, when we look at the reverse, um, that's the only notable difference because when we look at the obverse of this 1995 Philadelphia Mint Kennedy half, um, it's actually, I would say, arguably a little less quality, right? A little less than the 1998 Philadelphia Mint that we have here, which has less chatter in the fields. So... I, the reason I'm making this video is I kind of feel like PCGS, I caught you being naughty. And I hope you're watching this video because I may go ahead and send it to you and I'm not trying to be confrontational. What I'm trying to explain is what our viewers um, think uh, from time to time that PCGS and NGC are inconsistent when it comes to grading. And I think this is a good example of it and so I wanted to make a video. I, I wanted to do this in a way, I, I, earlier I was thinking of some ideas of how it could be funny. But I thought, you know, this is really not funny. This is more of a quality control issue. And I think it's a good example because we have two uh, very, very similar coins. And uh, ironically enough, we have two incredibly different grades. So all things being equal, these two coins actually should be the same grade. And if I had to pick which one should be the higher grade, it's the one in my hand right now, the 1998 Philadelphia Mint Kennedy Half. So, but let's like take a look at these grades, PCGS and my YouTube watchers, YouTube family. Take a look. 
And here is the, if you watched the video earlier, this is the 1998 Philadelphia Mint Kennedy half. Really nice luster, very well struck. You can see that in Kennedy's hair, very light chatter in the fields, and it's an MS-66. So really, really interesting that we have this coin here in my left hand. Now, PCGS and the YouTube family, take a look at this. This is a very good video. I have a 1995 Philadelphia Mint PCGS MS-67. There is no way that these two coins are that far apart. They're almost identical. And all things being equal, these this coin actually should have graded out the same. And if not, the one in my hand earlier, the 1998 Philadelphia Mint, actually should have graded out better than the 1995 Philadelphia Mint uh, Kennedy half. And you can just see that by the chatter in the fields. And I just want to kind of, that's why I have it under light. So you can see that the 1998 is in better condition, yet it got a full grade lower. These two coins are within a half a grade of each other maximum. If not, they should be the identical grade. Let's look at the um, reverse of the coin. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. And you can see there the only difference being there's a little chatter on the shield of the one in my uh, one to my left, and then the one on the right, there's just slightly less uh, chatter. There is a touch of chatter in the fields on the 1995 Philadelphia Mint Kennedy half, but in general, no, there's not. Let me bring it closer to the camera. You can see there, there, there's a slight abrasion, you might say, a little chatter right on the upper left of that shield under the eagle's head. And then you look at this one on the left, just some slight, slight chatter. But all other things being equal, the fields are the same. Everything looks good. Both coins are equally well struck. There is not a better struck between the two. They're almost identical. So PCGS, uh, interesting video. I wanted to show this to you. I'm probably going to email this to your customer service and talk to you about it. I'm not going to send it in and pay you to regrade it. If I send it in, you're going to please... Uh, refund me the original charge and grade it properly or whatever we have to do or just not charge me to grade the one in my, to my left correctly because that just was way off to begin with. And I, I'm glad that I saw this and I noticed it earlier when I was making the initial unboxing video and now i am decided to go ahead and make this a video to point out the uh, problem. And I'd like to hear what your thoughts are, YouTube, and I'd like to hear a comment from PCGS. Um, I would hope that you're watching my videos. I know you know um, about my channel. So thanks again, YouTube, for watching. It's me, Chris. You're watching Coins in the Wild. What do you think? Did we cast, catch PCGS being naughty? I think so. Well, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and hope you all have a good night. Thanks again. Take care now.